Nations work performance charts for you to review, oh, Sergeant. Right. Okay, good. Uh, right, Donna, Donna, I'm going to need your help. Well, of course, uh, Chief Inspector. Remember, Sergeant Blakemore knows you're backwards. It's inexplicable. It is inexplicable. And the fact that Jack didn't even consider that I'd be putting my hand up for the job really pissed me off. I mean, I gave it to him. I really <laughs> I went for him. This is a police station, and police stations are okay, okay, I know. I've, I've worked in a few. Technic George Newhouse. Yes, sir. Transferred here at the request of Acting Chief Inspector Christie. Oh, right. I came in early to try and report for work. Well, I'm Constable Donna Janewski, oh, and I'm Donna. Emma Woods. G'day, Hi. Emma. Detective George Newhouse, this is Detective McFarley. Hey, George. Go, Mick. You got the extra body. Yeah, that's right. You're welcome aboard. Thanks, mate. And the little bites of the dust. You are so sucked in. Uh, excuse me? Sweepstake, as at midnight last night, you missed out. Yes. Oh, I'm sweepstake, Donna. You're still in with a chance, and Sergeant, it's a 220 buck winner takes all sweepstake. Eve Sykes had twinges last night, tomorrow's it. D for delivery day. You'll all see, I'll win. Okay, well, I hope you're not using that radio to support this um, addiction of yours. And where's your uniform, sir? Oh, I'll, I tried on this morning, but I got coffee on the, on the shirt. Um, George. How's those progress reports going? Oh, they're coming on. Is there something more useful I could... Okay, man, if you've got nothing better to do. City Water Police to police launch Nemesis. This is the launch Nemesis. Go ahead. We've had a report of shots being fired, King George Marina. Please attend. Yeah, copy that. We're on our way. Detective? He said if I had nothing better to do. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, really, my pleasure. <laughs> Great, bad signal area. Right, so if it takes 11 minutes to get from my place to the hospital, how long is it going to take to get from here to my place? So four reckon? contractions, give it a rest, Gav. George? You see Day of the Jackal? What do you mean, a sniper? For one shot, clean through the neck. The trajectory suggests that it was fired from somewhere over there. Maybe the roof. A sniper's a little upmarket. What do you think of your pro hit? I don't know, Al. We'll have to find out who she is first. We were getting divorced, or trying to. Marion was opposing it. Mm. Where were you when the shots were fired? At a business meeting. I had witnesses. Do you mind me asking why the divorce? I'd have thought that was obvious. I'm gay. Excuse me, ma'am. You take your Michael Riley, Sydney. Water. So did you um? Did you see anything suspicious prior no. to the shooting at all? No, I haven't seen anything. Nothing at all. Did you uh, run into some strange people over here? No, I haven't seen anything. Thank you very much. I spent two years with a gorgeous woman, trying to convince myself that I wasn't, but it didn't work. I'm gay. I asked her for a divorce. She said no. Why? She'd got used to the lifestyle, I suppose. I did everything I could to resolve it, but everything did not include killing her. They shot from up there and ejected the shell. Lost the casing over the edge. It's a bit of a tough break. 
Not for us. I didn't shoot her. I've been trying the financial gambit to soften her up. Yeah. That's why I bought the yacht. Somebody saw something that was lying. The question is why. Hey, the yacht. Yeah. The yacht. Purchased four days ago. And it's still at its old mooring. And guess who it used to belong to? Tony Akostanis. Tony, import, export, catch yeah. if you can, Akostanis. Yeah, and give me my regards when you catch up with it. No worries. Yeah. I'll come too. No, it doesn't take three, mate. You can stay here, do a paper chase from Duncan Cowley's bank records, right? He's still not off the list. Excuse me. Is he always a prick? Yeah. Guns. Oh, That's not very nice. This is a prank. Look, um, I don't see how I can help you. I sold the boat about a week ago. Four days ago, to be exact. So? Coincidence. This your wife? It's my sister, Sula. She a natural blonde, is she? Does she use the boat a lot? She might have. So where's your sister, Sula, now? She's on holidays in Athens. It's just that the woman who was shot on your boat looked a lot like your sister. Do you think that's a coincidence too? <clears throat> Helen, can you find out when this uh, Sula Akustanis left the country? Uh, yes, sir. So if Sula was really the target, why? Excuse me. I had nothing better to do, so I checked out Kelly's alibi. Yeah, it's solid. But then I ran a check on his bank accounts. There's a bunch of regular withdrawals, always cash, always the same amount. Every fortnight for five months, then every week for a month. Come on, Cowley. Look, I'm telling you, I had nothing... OK. If you want to dick us around, you go right ahead. We're working a murder here. And correct me if I'm wrong, your wife got the bullet through the throat. Your wife? The one that was giving you grief over a divorce settlement. The one who was taking you to the cleaners, Laughing all the way to the bank and any other cliche you'd like me to use. You have to explain these payments, Kelly. Otherwise, you go straight to the top of our suspects list. I can't tell you. It's more than my life's worth. Oh, he's doing his own cliches now. Look, I mean it! What? Have you being blackmailed? Was your wife shot because you stopped payment? You tell us. What? The money went to a bloke called Wally, all right? Are you happy now? Now they'll torch my shop. Sula Akostanis left the country two hours after the shooting. Getting her out of danger? Yeah. Uh. Okay, who's one? Somebody's under name. Everybody pays in. Business insurance. Right, by that you mean protection. Maybe all these shop owners are on their slate. Well, that's why nobody wanted to speak to us. Maybe they're afraid of having their kneecaps repositioned. OK, so why do these payments go from fortnightly to weekly? Another collector started turning up. A bloke named Stan. Now we're paying two lots. All right, all right. Listen, what we're going to do is we'll look at some mudshots and let's see if we can pick out some of these collectors, all right? Do you know what they did to the last person who spoke to the police? They stitched up her lips. Here's Wally. And this is Stan Milton. Now, Intel tells us that uh, Wally works for Tony Akustanis mm -hmm. and Stan Milton for Clive Tyler. Hey, you know, this Tyler, he, he, he's a pom, right? He's part Irish. He's a complete nutcase. I don't think he likes Tony, because Tony likes ballet and the opera. <laughs> yeah, well, employees from both sides have had incidents in that part of the turf, in that part of the waterfront quite recently, mm -hmm. OK? Mostly knifings and uh, stuff like that. You know what, I think, I think this Clive's tried to muscle in on Tony's protection business, right? And. Uh, Tony expresses his disapproval, Clive reacts, and now they don't like each other very much. Well, if these blokes start going for it, then innocent people get caught in the middle, don't they? Well, that's already happened. You can ask Duncan Cowley. OK, Alex, you got Tyler and uh, Mick. You and I are going over to talk to this Tony. No. Here. What? No, you'll be putting your bum in that chair. Jack, you've got to remember the ferry that ran aground when the captain was having a pee. All right, all right, OK. Look, where's Wally? Helen, you want to uh, find out what happened to these two bag men, right? OK, you pair, you're going to see Tony. Mate, you've got Clive, make sure you take a uniform with you. What? I am going, I'm going to shuffle some paperwork. You know, buy some super glue. I'll stick it on my butt and I'll stick it to the chair. No, Jack, hang on, I was just thinking, with Clive Tyler and Tony Akustanis in the mix... What are you giving me, Alicia? 
No, but organised crime east coast will if you don't talk to them, so just talk hey, to hey, them. Hey, Helen, this is a murder investigation. What do we know about organised crime? Hey, come on, I know what you're doing. Talk, talk, talk. I think they've seen us. I imagine Clive sees everything. Yeah, what? Detective Newhouse, Sydney Water Police. I want to talk to Clive Tyler. Yeah, well, he's undisposed. That's indisposed. What? You idiot. And you too can piss off. You heard Mr. Tyler piss off. And get a warrant if I have to. Do it, mate. Come on, bazooka. Right. So now what? We get a warrant. Hey, thanks for coming along. It's always best to have a partner. That's OK. I'm happy to help. Clive who? Look, we checked. About a week back, one of Tyler's associates had both his knees broken. Oh, ouch. Yeah, it was a week after one of your associates was stabbed. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, we're talking about payback. OK, your sister, she flew out to Athens two hours after the shooting. That's a very hastily arranged holiday. You worried about the safety of your sister, are you, Mr. Arkastanis? All right. Frank will show you the way out. Now, go on, get out. Hey, you two, I've got a bulletin for you. I don't need your help. And if I do have a problem, you can bet I'll take care of it myself my way. Okay, guys, um, what do we got here? We've got uh, Akustanis talking tough. That's... Yeah, well, it's personal. I mean, Akustanis knows it was an attempt on his sister's life. Yeah. Now the ball's back in his court. And he's got a mean return of serve, which is why Tyler is so well bucking down at the moment. Yeah, but nobody's going to talk to us. So I think we should set up surveillance on Tony. When he retaliates, we're there. Yeah? yeah? OK. Yeah. Ballistics here. The bullet was a soft point .223 calibre. Very nasty. The rifle they used, most probably a savage tactical. Have a look. It's all in there. The other thing is, Stan, what's his name? Milton. <coughs> yep, yeah. Stan Milton. OK, he checked out of his address very recently, two days ago, in fact. The other bag man we don't have to worry about. He's been in the Burns unit for some time. Oh, there's some known to frequency. Why don't I go and try and find Stan Milton while you two are setting up this surveillance yet? Yeah? No worries, okay. Now, guys, I want to be kept in the loop on all of this, yeah, all right? Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. And Jack? What? Work performance sheets ready? Stan Milton. Yeah, my mum. Tell him you just want to talk. Yeah. George, what do you reckon? I don't know. I'm... I guess uh, he's, he's too young for me. You know, a bit too enthusiastic, you know what I mean? A lot to learn, you reckon? Uh, well, I hope not. I guess we'll wait and see. Hey, here's Tony. OK, where is he? Thanks, Kev. Piss off, mate. I'll see you later, right? Stan Milton. You look a lot like your Uncle Paul. Know him, do you? Yeah, I know him. The bastard arrested me a few times. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Been having a spot of bother. I can use a bit of assistance. Oh, you try to sell those? I don't want charity. I can pay. With information. Oh, Jeffrey! Helen! Hello! Oh. <coughs> I wonder if you'd mind just shutting the blinds. That's all right, I won't kiss you again. <laughs> no, 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 not that. I just don't want to undermine Jack's authority, that's all. Oh, well, that wouldn't be hard. Yeah. So, this is not a social call. <laughs> Happy birthday, Helen. Well. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was going to ignore it this year. Oh, no lottery ticket. No, you never anything. <laughs> Look, I just wanted to say that 
There's no hard feelings about the split up with Vanessa. I mean, I know she did ask your advice on the matter. I just told her to be honest. And I wasn't expecting any hard feelings. No. No, well, of course it's not. It's, it's not. So, how's it all going? Oh, Have good. Good. Uh, we're just working on a thing, you know, case. With uh, <clears throat> Clive Tyler and Tony Akostanis. Are organised crime across it? No, Jack's managing it. Night. Hey. Hey. Hey, guy. Yeah, pretty good. Whew. So, uh, information? Yeah. Oh, mate, what is that smell? It stinks. Let me stand. Stan, come out, mate. Stan, come on, mate. This is your partner? Yeah, mate, this is my partner, yeah. Thought you'd be a bloke. I'm a bloke. What's the deal? Stan's running for Macastanis and Tyler. I know. There was this little misunderstanding. There was this horse. Stan put some money on it. Unfortunately, it wasn't his money. It was money, cash, that he collected for Clive Tyler. It was a dead cert. Yeah, well, it ran fifth. <laughs> yeah. Bloody donkey, still bloody running. Now, Bazooka Tyler is looking for his Uncle Clive's money. He also thinks Stan's thumbs will make a lovely set of earrings, doesn't he, mate? Yeah, but, uh, uh, who's Bazooka? Tall, good looking bloke with a scar. And what we talked about before. He's the bloke who. And he's. Who? She needs to hear it, mate, come on. He's the one who whacked the blonde on the yacht. Oh, you can finger Bazooka with the rifle because he saw him buy it, OK? It's a savage tactical, the same one that killed Mrs Cowley. Soft point, two, two, threes to go with it. Mm. Yeah, and now, Bazooka was short 600 bucks on the purchase price. Now, Tyler sent Stan round with the extra cash. And this is before Stan's little mistake with the three-legged racehorse. Stan used to work for Tony for a year, but then he switched to Clive. Better pay. Well, they run on a superannuation scheme, too. Yeah, but the thing is, they're both after his blood now. Right, so what's Stan offering? Look, Bazooka's just the appetizer. I mean, Stan's got the goods on both outfits. He's got names, operations, he's got the works. I mean, he's willing to deliver, but he's demanding protection. I mean, I reckon sure. we've got to... You know the way it works, right? We get the information first, then we see whether it's worth looking after him, all right? Uh, Stan's not going to deal like that. What are you, mate? A detective or his agent? Let's get Bazooka Tyler in here, put him under the grill, and then we'll see whether Stan's story's got more legs than his race source. Look, I'm not telling you nothing. I'm only here because Uncle Clive said cooperate. But you're not cooperating. Being here is cooperating, mate. OK, where were you this morning at seven? Uh, in the gym. And at, at home. Oh, yeah, with a dozen witnesses, I bet. No, no. Four. Right. Have you ever purchased a savage tactical rifle? Rifle? No. No. What did you find, mate? Soft point two two threes. No! Come on, mate, you got nothing. N. O. T H I N G. Good. What if we could link you to the purchase of the weapon? Well, then I'd poo my pants. And then I'd say, well, so what? Why don't you produce it? Look, if I'd shot somebody, do you think I'd hang on to hey, the gun? No one said anything about anyone shooting anyone. Well, then I'm psychic. Okay, well, someone was shot. A woman. Do you know Sula Akustanis? Sula Akustanis? No, no. No, okay. Don't worry, because you didn't shoot her. You actually shot Marion Cowley. Don't worry, it's an easy mistake. See, her husband recently bought the boat. Now, she's blonde, attractive, just like Sula, so... Understandable mistake. So, you want to tell your Uncle Clive, or... Do you want us to do it for you? Hey, um, bye. Oh, no change, she's fine. I'll alert the press. Hey, you could take a bit of interest here, you know, I am going to be a dad. Yeah, I know, it's serious. Yeah. I'll alert the electronic media as well. <laughs> Portable three. Here you go, head cam. Still no change. What, with Eva or with surveillance? <laughs> hey, look, don't you start on me as well, all right? 
Mate, I think we've got some movement here at the station. Yeah, it looks like they're taking off on the Riviera. Stay close, Gavin. I right, know, copy that. Let's go, man. Hey, hey. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, Mickey boy. That's the nephew. What do you want, Aggie? Well, mate, it seems we have a little jurisdiction problem. He did it. No question. Well, probably me and Stan's other info's gonna be good, too. Right, we need to get him to a safer motel. Okay, I'll find another hidey hole. Hey, yep. we got a problem? Look, Jack, Pakistan and Tyler are obviously known to OCEC. Oh, your new bosses? Hey, listen, congratulations on the promotion. Yeah. Me too. You know, people call me Chief Inspector these days. They don't call me Jack. And seeing as you work for them, maybe you can tell me why organised crime Peace Coast haven't shut down Tyler and Akastansis. Do I really need to explain to you about building the case? Oh, so that's what you guys have been doing? Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah, for two months. You don't really want to be responsible for stopping up a major operation for the sake of a small fish now, do you? Well, this small fish, Aggie, actually killed an innocent woman. Let him go. You have to. I don't have to do anything. Well, have you got any evidence on him? Mm. You even got a murder weapon? We got a witness that ties bazooka to the weapon. Not enough, Jack. Okay, listen. You go back and you tell your bosses at organised crime that this is our case. However, you can tell them that I'm letting Bazooka go, all right? Bye. Thanks for your time. I'll see you, all right? Yeah, you will. Hey. Hey, see you, Aggie. What do you mean you're letting him go? Hey, listen, I was lying. We don't have enough, right? So Alex stays on Tyler. I want you on Tony Costanzas, right? And maybe these two fish are going to feed on each other. Yeah, he's still with his uncle Clive. I think they're having a deep and meaningful. Oh, don't think Uncle Clive's too happy. Having a lend of us, just wasting our time. Potable three. Go ahead, Sykesy. Look, where's our relief? They're late. Potable four. We're in position and ready to take over. Gav, go and be a dad. Yeah, copy that. We're out of here. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Assholes. It's okay. Where is he? Is he? It's me, Stan. Thank God he's taking a shower. Oh, thanks. Huh. You could have bought me somewhere nicer. <laughs> um, Stan, I'll talk to my boss. He's organised somewhere safe for you to stay. Look, he wants to talk. All you got to do is just come hey, to the Stan, party. Stan, take it away from the window. <laughs> Stay down! Call for backup! Stay down! Yeah? Alex, Alex, it's George. Someone's just trying to take Stan out. Are you still watching Bazooka? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking right at him. I mean, he's having a beer with Uncle Clive. Then who the hell... Alex! Alex! Shots have been fired! Repeat, shots have been fired! Oh. Anybody hurt? Oh. Oh, Shit! <laughs> requesting urgent ambulance. Hey, can you also put a memo out on a maroon holding Commodore plate, sir? Uh, Sierra X-ray, that's all I got. And it's heading north down Fitzroy Street. You were watching Tony. Yeah, we are. No. So how come I just saw him shoot Bazooka Tyler and kill a three-month-old kid at the same time? What? Oh, yeah, we, I didn't get a good look at him, but I'm sure it was him. No, Alex, Alex, that's not possible. We just saw him go back in his office. We've been watching his boat the whole time. What, and he was on board the whole time? Yes! 
Well, except when he went diving. Yeah, and then they came back and he, he was wearing his wetsuit and... Oh, shit. <sighs> wetsuit. I want to see Tony Akastanis now. He's busy. I said I want to see him now. You want to come in here, mate? You get yourself a warrant. Have a nice day. And he opens doors for you. Now, that's a real gentleman. Yeah, but is he a good cop? And he's gorgeous. <laughs> what, at his job? Oh, who cares? More part of it. Evening, all. Hey. Pregnant hey. wife, one for the taking care of. Hey, mm. even you look great. Yes, as in great <laughs> with child. But this will fix you, preferably just after midnight. So what's this? It is a new recipe. It's inducement curry. Say why? I would have preferred Christy on a plate. Fancy dragging Gavin to work like this. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull surveillance. Hey, think of the overtime. Don't worry, Sykesy, we'll get you an early mark after she eats this curry. Anything to win that sweepstake? <coughs> it needs more chilli. I'm starting to think this isn't such a good idea. Stan, you'll be fine. No one's going to find you here. Stop your wind and Stan. This was your idea. I mean, if you don't want to follow through with this, that's fine. But if you bust me back into town, we'd call it quits. Here in the fridge, is it? All clear, George. The partial plate I got in the car looks like being useless. It's, it's a possible stolen vehicle and they haven't found it yet. Look, I saw Tony, Jack. It... Okay. Didn't Nick have him under surveillance five days away? <sighs> OK, we need more evidence from the scene. Clive Tyler, he saw him too, but he's not about to help us. Yeah, Inspector. they killed his nephew. Yeah, he probably wants to fix that too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is priceless. Soon, why? He gets his revenge and you mob are his What's own. what? Hey, Aggie, pull your head in. Yeah, all right, I'll ask him, I'll ask him. All right, bye. OK, I'm going to see Stan Milton about his protection plan. He wants some beer. Better be worth it. Shooting's all over the news, Jack. Now, what the hell's going on? Bus, come on. Come on, mate, you know. You asked for it. Now, I bought you the beer, right? And now you clammed up on me. I need assurances, all right? Assurances before I can negotiate, OK? Right, well, I'll assure you that no one, I mean no one, will follow you into the witness protection, right? Not like Golden Boy here, let someone follow you back to the motel. But I'll also assure you, mate, that unless you cooperate with me, I'll have you back dockside. Right, now, you've got tonight to think about it, right? Right, mate, you're on your way. As soon as Sykes gets here, you stick with the Queen. Stan's supposed to be my responsibility. All right, mate. The new partner, Riley, while he tries to find that Stannis. I didn't lead anyone to no bloody motel. Yeah, we'll see. Listen, Christy, ever since I got here, you've been treating me like shit. Don't be so bloody sent. I don't like being accused of incompetence in front of my colleagues. Then don't stuff up, then. I didn't stuff up. I'm not going to be your whipping boy. All right, then find that Stannis. Yeah, I will. Screw you. OK. Well... OK. We'll see if we can pull in some of his associates. See how we do. All right, thank you. Bye. Hey. We should buy Christy personalised number plates. J-E-R-K. He's not that bad, George. You just replaced him, that's all it is. Oh, lovely. What are you doing? It's cheating. I'm superstitious. Oh. You guys had a twinge? Do you want me to give Gavin a call? No, it's 10.30. It's way too early. She's already had one false alarm. I'm fine. You're fine. OK. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm out. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. I still don't know how they got to stand in that motel. I mean, we're so bloody careful. Can you just concentrate on trying to find Tony, please? I believe you wanted to speak to this gentleman, one of Mr. Acklestanz's chauffeurs. Thank you, Helen. I'll see you. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, tonight's my lucky night. You can do better than that. You drove him everywhere. You drove the car when he shot Bazooka, didn't you? Didn't you? And the kid in the stroller. It's going to get very ugly. Tony turned up at the office. Yeah? Well, 
Thomas Craig, can you tell Woodsy and Quinn that I'll get down there as soon as I can? Get up, move your ass, Marcel, Marcel. We're gonna go and see your boss. I was here. All afternoon till about five o'clock. Then, um, and me and Frank, we popped out, had a little tour of the sights. Isn't that right, Frank? It's a beautiful city, Sydney, and I don't think we appreciate it enough. Oh, we've been watching your place. We saw you come in, but we didn't see you go. You miss me going out? How weird is that? Do you want a gun, Mr. Akastanis? Gun? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, guns. Hate the things. Well, another shooting, was it? I'm happy to have swabs done. See, I know how this works. Too much telling. In that case, you'd know to wear gloves then, wouldn't you? And to get rid of them, yeah. And safety glasses. Because we take swabs from your eyes these days. How's it going, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, who got shot? That poor woman's killer? Yeah. Well, there we go, case solved. The offender's been tried, prosecuted and brought to justice. It's nice and tidy, I like that. Hey, Frank, um, get on to my travel agent. Get Sula back here. I hear the weather's turned in Clement in Athens. I'm very pleased you solved your murder, detective. Oh, yeah, by the way, Tony, do you know that shooting this afternoon? A baby was killed. work out what you're doing here. Do you really think so little of how I used to operate here, Jack? What do you mean? You think you can fly the desk and get into the action at the same time? You won't wear the uniform. Why? Is it some sort of a joke? The need for compliance, respect? Or you tell me. Come on, you, you just don't give a shit. I'm doing the job my way. It doesn't mean I think I'm any cleverer than you. Good. Because you're not. You're screwing this up, Jack. The commander's job is to command and look after all the other boring bullshit that goes on around this place so everybody can do their jobs properly. You screw up, everybody gets screwed. You see this, Jack? That's a buck. Webby gave me this when I took over this position. That buck stops right here. Don't devalue it, Jack. You can't afford to, mate. My last cocky bastard. Who, Christy or Rakostanis? Both. Don't worry about him, George. We'll get him. <sighs> oh, is that what time it is? No wonder I'm hungry. I'm gonna get a pizza, you hungry? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, Baba's pizza. Yeah, are you still taking orders? Yeah, good. Can I have a, um, a Supreme with no pineapple? Hey, 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 Fudge, hey, hey, pizza place is back that way. Yeah, motel's this way. Just had a terrible thought. What are we doing here, George? Stan want a takeaway. Yeah, and what? Well, I ordered, I ordered by phone. I went out to meet the pizza guy. Well, well, hang on a minute. Did you go outside and leave him in here by himself? For two minutes. George, he could have made a phone call. Read on. I just hope it's a pizza joint, not his mum, right? Or. A Kustanis? <sighs> Shit. Gotta call Alex. Come on, pick up, Alex. Alex? Alex? Yo, Alex? What are you going to explore rearrange that stereo? It's your phone. Thanks. Yeah, Sinclair. Alex, it's Mick. Is everything all right? OK, we know how they found the motel. Stan made a phone call to Tony Akastanis. He called who? We're going to go back and talk to Tony now. All right, you keep an eye on that dead shit. Stan! 
What's going on? Ah! What the hell are you doing calling Tony Uncle Stardust? What? He called Tony. Leave me alone. I was scared. I tried to negotiate a deal. I thought Tony would come to the party if I offered not to talk. Okay, you're an idiot. You know, the only way he's going to pay for your silence is through a bullet. Get your ass out of here now, Stan. It's off. I, I got a bad feeling about this, right? You, you got a boat here? Yeah. Okay, get your keys. We're moving out. Yep. Okay, Stan, get your ass out here. Stan, if you don't open this door, it's coming down. Leave me alone, will you? Okay, I'm counting to three. One! <sighs> Two. <gasps> three. Okay, four. stop there. Okay, three minutes and four seconds. The curry worked. We have contractions. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Janevsky. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm That's fine. That's ten I'm minutes fine. past eleven. It's looking good. All right, um, Donna, do you want to do something to help other than oh. make sweepstakes? OK, how about I start the car, you call Gavin, oh. 10 minutes to the hospital, Donna, 41 Donna, one minutes Donna. to labour, Eva. That's oh, okay. you call Gavin! I told you, so I didn't call anybody from here. Oh, mate, I'll just shut up, up, Stan. No one's interested. I don't like the bloody water. Yeah, so we noticed. Right up there with deodorant, eh, Stan? <laughs> I'm gonna give Gavin another try, okay? Oh, oh, oh. I was watching a movie. Oh, really? Which one was that? Seven. Oh, that's the one where the killer sends Brad Pitt's wife's head in a box, makes him commit the seventh deadly sin. <laughs> <sighs> you don't even have to watch it. Yeah, Riley. Mick, it's Sophie. Um, look, Eva's gone into labour, and I can't get on to Gavin on his mobile. Well, have you tried, Alex? Yeah, no, it's going straight to voicemail. OK, look, call me back in ten minutes. We'll head straight over there. There's something very wrong.
Oh, I'm told Gavin, you're going to be a girl. <laughs>